Well, good afternoon, people. So we're out here doing our walk today. We're just getting started. And the sun's starting to go down, which I guess is okay. Hopefully we don't get run over by a tractor trailer or anything, uh, being over at this industrial park. Um, just want to take a moment and say thank you uh, for everybody that kept Dad in prayer this morning. We were given a new meter. Uh, let me stop here. Let me get my breath. We were given a new meter for him so that we could uh, accurately, accurately test his blood sugar. Uh, his sugar was like 50 points higher than what the paramedics got. That's a problem. Uh, because this insulin stuff, it's no joke to play around with this. I kid you not. Like I said, thanks for everybody for praying. Right now, he seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, so, we'll see how things turn out. All right, so, I talked to you about this uh, GKI. It's called the Glucose Ketone Index. And it's a computation based on a glucose reading and a ketone reading. Now, we all know that if your ketones are above 0.5, then you're in ketosis and you're doing pretty good. However, where does that leave your blood sugar? Well, what you need to do is you need to test both. This computation not only will give you an accurate result, but it incorporates your sugar as well as your ketone bodies to give you an accurate result on what or where you're at because there are different stages based on that result. So, I'll get here under the computer here shortly and show you how that works. Basically, you're gonna take your glucose level and divide it by 18. And then you're gonna divide it by the ketone number. And that's gonna give you a number that goes onto a scale. And then you look and see where you're at. So with this quarantine, I wanted to do that. Our gyms are closed. I'm not getting the best workouts in the world. I'm doing a lot of walking, but I'm not doing a lot of weightlifting. So to do that, my ketones, they've kind of been all over the board. So we've been testing every day and I'm gonna show you that result. Okay, we are here on Google Sheets um, and uh, out of Google Drive. So all you got to do is have a Gmail account and you have access to, uh, to do this too. So basically, over here is the scale. Um, and what you're going to do is, now I got this scale uh, off the internet. And basically, they're all the same, okay? So I put this in here, I typed this in over here just so I know what it is. But over here I had one column that I called for my date. Then I put the glucose reading here. I put the ketones in here and then the result is here. Now I have it rounding up. But as you can see, now I take the glucose reading here and you divide it by 18. And then this result, which this is purple, this is your ketones, that is here. So I'm going to take this result, divide it by 18, and whatever I get here, I'm going to divide that by this result, which is 0.6. This too goes with this roundup function, and that will tell uh, Google Sheets that I want it rounded. So basically, and then when you hit enter, uh, it gives you that 8.8, .8. all right, and um, and then what you do here, these divides by zeros, they're all coming because there's nothing in here. 
what you do is instead of taking this and making one for every one, you grab it by this little block. See this block here on the side? You grab it here and then just come down and see how it's going down like this. And see, then what it does is it transposes the formula so you don't have to rewrite it all over again. See, for each one. So if you're new to like spreadsheets or something, that's how you do that. Roundup is the function. Otherwise, you're going to get this great big long decimal, and you don't need this great big long decimal. Um, if I change this up here to uh, 1, or if I change it up here to 0, there. Now it's in a whole number. So if I do that, then I'll just come down here and I'll do like this. And then every day, now really for ketogenic diet, unless you're really, really being, you really want to do it every day, as long, if you don't have sugar or diabetes or anything like that, where you have to test every day or several times a day, they say don't get locked into this because this could be like a scale type thing too. You know, where your mindset's always, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that. And then, you know, you're upset and whatever. So, you know, there's that thing you got to take in consideration too. But every once in a while, I just go down through here and I check this number. Now, see, it's nine and it says you're in a low level ketosis. If it was greater than or equal to nine, you've not reached ketosis yet. So, what I do is I put this back to two. And then it says 8.8 .8 because I want to know where I'm falling at between the 6 to 9. So instead of rounding it out to like zero decimal places, I'll round it to that far just to see where I'm at. Okay, and they are now it's set. And then that way, it, your meters will keep a memory of readings so like you could go in here once a week and enter all these things but if you're trying to stay on you sh you you probably should do it when you when you take the reading and then you can then go back and say like say tomorrow one of these numbers were uh say tomorrow one of these numbers were different you could take and find out well what did i eat to push this number you know above nine okay or what did i eat or what did i do to push it this way okay so basically now for weight loss you want to stay six to nine now you don't have to use a spreadsheet or figure this out on your own because you know i like to do that you can see um right here it gives you the reading but up here, there's a calculator. So like if you were to punch in your readings here, which I did, this is what it gives you, okay? So um, you can, uh, and then down here it gives you your scale. So this is the Keto Mojo website. They sell a meter. And I mean, I'm not getting paid for this by anything, by any means, but you know, they have a calculator and whatever here if you want to do this. Now, here's the thing. As you see, I have two meters. Um, so the, um, the white meter is the one I use for my ketones. The other one will do ketones and glucose readings, but I stay with, um, with both of them together. So, all right, well, that's basically it on that. Thank mm -hmm. you.